They raided Cleaver's ass. They kill him. Let me go. Cleaver weren't born yesterday. Wars on. Sick. Like a kickstand. Sick of it. New every night. <sighs> Horson's in for it now. Cleaver's spy for him. Won't let it slide. Horson gets blown up the arse. We'll be next. We had peace. Peace was good. Who found it a fucking Getting on my nerves, you grey head knob. Piss off. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Sure we can't work this out? How's that? I pay you, you let me in. Uh, give it here. Get in. And remember, we've an eye on you. Who runs the fights? I go. Take it, one away. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep healthy. That's my advice. Not your hireling. Won't take your orders, don't need your advice. You're not my hireling, that's true. But so uppity. Afraid you need to die. Kill him.
wonder if Deekstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. This is no place for the likes of you. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. Think we can make a deal? Hear that? Another one. No, we don't make deals. How much? Oi, remember what I told you? Were to be polite like. Just my patience. Running a bit thin. We don't want your coin. We don't want anything else. On your way, before we get plowing angry. Stop being all nice. Hang about like sight round a bunghole. You deaf. Bugger off. Can't go in there. Gonna get in there. Better for you to let me in. And if we don't, then what? I'll kill you. Do you get that? Got it all right. He threatened us and reached for his weapon. Die, you plowing bastard. Screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? <sighs> What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda. Yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Paulson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Lead to my uncle. Nice razors you got there. I want you to make sure oh, not here. Get on the red! I'd expect teeth to go up my ass before I'd expect to find a horse and hide in his house. Come over said to be thorough. We look everywhere. Not to burn the corpses. As it's a congregate to feast. Can't you see I'm fucking busy? My mind's like war. Never know when you're done for. Nothing interesting here. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Shite. Leave her once this chop was set. Greetings. Ugh. You're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. Aha! Welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. 
you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Junior to a get-together with his mates. Became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient rite of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. Nice results you got there. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will, and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings. Scheme. 
start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Merigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Oh, no! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Doppler's can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties, naturally. See, you're an expert on Dumplers. I'd expect a Witcher of all... things... to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef.
This little piggy had none. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No, no more. <laughs> Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Ow! Oh, bitch bit me. Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit, but I must say no. You see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Menga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable, and Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Oh, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us.
Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunk in that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Sword. Yeah. We'll deal with the witch. What the? Over here! Bad idea. Spread out! This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Trace. You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon.
Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. How'd you find out? I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> ah, Geralt. I should have you strangled, but I like you, you bastard. I like you too, you count without a county. Now that we've professed our feelings for each other, how'd you figure it out? Since from the start, you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. It wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wiley, Orson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Orson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Needs someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians. I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring the bell. Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed.
What do you do here? Hunt Scoia'tael? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. How'd you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford. At a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Trouble. Looks. My contact should be slow there. now. You choked to death on three pounds of steel. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open, squeeze the truth from them. 
Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard! Time to end this. Fuck 
fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. Sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Oh. Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. 
I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tune. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. I got you, you little girl. Where's Ruben's treasure? I've got you, you little whore. Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! Told you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. 
And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. On this day, Horson Jr. died. He was a faggot and a little cunt. Good riddance.